Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I prepare my weekly veggies and dip. Um, this is just a small batch today to use up some extras. So I'm not going to do like an elaborate dip recipe. I'm just going to use about 8 ounces of light sour cream and add a packet of vegetable soup mix into there. It just makes a nice, quick, easy dip. And I like it because it's got the little bits of vegetable in there. They are rock hard right now because they're dehydrated, but I'll go ahead and mix that up really well. And then I'll go ahead and put it in the refrigerator just to give it a chance to soften up for a while. And it'll be all set tomorrow. Like I mentioned before, this is just a quick little small batch to use up some extra veggies I have around. Um, if I were doing like a larger prep for snacks for maybe my family, then I would go ahead and do a bigger vegetable tray and use my big Rubbermaid tray container. But this is just a quickie, so I'm just going to use some smaller like lunch type containers I have on hand. I'm going to start off with English cucumber. I pretty much always have this for snacking, either alone or with dip. And you're going to see me switch out containers. I decided I didn't like that one, and then I was going to go ahead and use a different one. I think it had some kind of stain on it from like some chili or something. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and lay the cucumbers down in there. Try to make them look somewhat tidy, not really. And then, because I'm not the only one who's going to be eating out of here, and I have someone in the house who is not a fan of cucumber peel. I'll go ahead and cut like part of it off without peeling as well. And if you're wondering why I didn't go ahead and cut up the whole thing, the little part on the side over there is what I'm going to use for a salad. Okay, so I've got that done. Try to tidy up after myself a little bit. Then it's on to the next thing, which is some rainbow carrots that I just wanted to use up, just the end of a bag. And I've already got them washed. I just need to go ahead and peel them and slice them into sticks. If I'm planning for veggie dip, I might go and buy like a bag of mini carrots or just some orange carrots. But I did have these left over from a dinner I made, and I thought, well... I'll just go ahead and cut them up for my veggie tray. They'll look really pretty. And I would definitely get them again. They don't really have much of a different taste than your standard carrot, but they're really pretty, especially if you're doing it like for guests or something. I think it would be a little more impressive than the standard orange carrot. If it's for me, 90% of the time I don't really care what it looks like. But I do like to make a good impression if I'm having people over or making a video for you guys. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and get those into some manageable bite-sized sticks. It's really just about breaking them down and getting them into a good size that's pleasant to bite into. And then once I have them all done, I kind of try to put them somewhat neatly into my container. Got a backup container because I will probably need two unless I want to really pile them in there. I think these purple ones are really pretty. Just the variation of color they have on the inside and outside. Those were, I think, an organic rainbow carrot. Go ahead and lay those down in there. And then lastly, we'll end up with the yellow one. And again, I'm just cutting it into manageable pieces for dipping. those arranged. Then I'll move on to some peppers. I had the end of a bag of mini peppers. I always seem to have like three or four left over at the end of the week. And I do get them mostly for just either just snacking as is. Sometimes I smear a little light cream cheese inside and sprinkle it with everything bagel seasoning. 
other times I make them like a jalapeno popper. Um, especially if you're having guests over and you know some of them aren't into heat, you can do like the regular poppers and you can just do some of these alongside with like some light cream cheese mixed with cheddar. Just pop them in the air fryer until they're nice and golden. They're actually really good and they have that same popper taste without the burn. But this time I'm just going to go ahead and de-seed them, slice them up and just use them for dipping my dip in. Sometimes I use them in stir fries too to use up the end. They have a really good flavor though. And then I've got a larger green pepper. I'm just going to go ahead and break that down. I usually do it like that and then the extra at the top. Sometimes I just chop it up and throw it in a bag in the freezer and I just use that in recipes. We'll just get that into some nice slices. Yeah, I always like having that little extra bit of pepper in the freezer because a lot of times they'll call for like half a pepper. And they're like, well, what do I do with the other half? Then I can just eyeball it and see what I think about a half is and scoop it out of my pepper bag. Okay, so we're all set with that. And this is what my veggie trays look like this week. And I'll be taking those and making snacks and lunches. And that's an easy way to just use up my leftover veggies before I get fresh ones with my grocery order. I hope you enjoyed watching this today. I'm going to be making more recipe type videos again lately. Um, as we head into winter, I tend to do a little bit more cooking and prepping. So thank you so much again for stopping by and we will see you next time. Have a great week.